Learning more about the Cuban protester who was taken down by authorities in Havana yesterday during the May Day rally. Turns out he's no stranger to the law or to local 10. We actually interviewed him in Havana before. Oh, Hats of Ellen has the story now from Havana. So it turns out this is not the first time this gentleman is in the spotlight. His name is Daniel Llorente Miranda. There's been one instance before where he was arrested for doing exactly the same thing. And another time we actually talked to him. March of last year, Local 10 is in Havana working every angle of the historic visit former President Barack Obama made to Cuba. We were in the Plaza de la Revolución when Obama paid homage to Cuban icon Jose Martí. It is there we meet Daniel Llorente Miranda. Notice the flag and the shirt he's wearing. Soy cubano que vino a, ver Obama. a Cuban, he says, there to see Obama. But he missed him. Pero al pueblo de Cuba no se le ha permitido verlo. Told us then the Cuban people had not been allowed to see Obama. State security was intense, he said, keeping Cubans away. Fast forward about a month when once again Local 10 was on the island to cover another historic event. Carnival's Fathom brand with its ship name Adonia was the first American ship to dock in Cuba. <laughs> On land and in front of cameras, Llorente Miranda, wearing the same shirt, the American flag draped over him, is dragged away and placed into a police car. Then, yesterday's May Day events, a man with the same shirt, same flag, runs in front of the massive crowd before being tackled by security agents wearing plain clothing. A closer look as he's being dragged in front of our cameras, we can stop the video and compare images. Certainly the same MO, certainly similar traits. But on Cuban state-run television, most Cubans watching never saw the scuffle. You can see a man running towards the conflict, marchers looking left, but never the incident, which happened as the march started and President Raul Castro looked on. <laughs> this young attendee says what he did was not appropriate. At this point, we're still trying to figure out where he is uh, in jail and what kind of charges he may be facing for what he did. Reporting in Havana, Hatsovella, Local 10 News.